All right, uh, you're welcome to the next episode of Your Transgender Hate Mail Host Central Hate Mail Atheist Hate Mail. Basically, we reacted to a bunch of screen caps on YouTube and Deviant Art that are in response comments. I made against these Deviant Lifestyles and a few other things. Trigger warning. If you don't like what I'm saying, go ahead and click off the video. Mm, yeah, don't you know, go watch something else. Do not lie. See, there's uh, hate speech in my videos. Because there's hate speech in my videos. It's speech you hate. That's a different story. It's because you want to get people, you know, people getting ticked off. Uh, and that I'm trying to correct them with Bible versus uh, basic biology. And, uh, you know, the Andy Goldsuit Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, so it says, the golden age of gaming had almost no women in it, says somebody. And I say, actually, it probably did, but they were hired because they were qualified to work on the games, not because of the reproductive organs. Mm -hmm. 29 likes for that. Mm -hmm. Then it says, the nah, did. The leader, lead of Assassin's Creed at the beginning it was a woman. Companies just hired people based on their skills. And really, it was more diverse than two. They got 14 likes. The game industry always had women, just women who were talented and passionate about video games, video games, especially and not specifically and not unqualified diversity, diversity hires. More concerned with the politics then. Who read more? Like, they got 11 likes. Yes. Well, it's the one making a fun game. It had, it had talented women like Amy Henning. Mm. Well, people like her pretty much have been purged completely from the industry. I'll try two, one, two, and three will forever be in my heart. Neil can keep number four. I didn't like the game one bit. So it says, I didn't see people claiming they had an all gay development team before even telling you what the game was until probably 20, 2016 or 2017. That's when they started thinking people would buy based on, the, on that rather than whether the game is fun or engaging. Mm -hmm. Nah, still real too thing to say. Look at people like Amy Hitting, Carol Shaw, Kelly Bailey, etc. There's how now we have experts and not creators. So it says, you probably remember Jade Raymond. She was not a developer, but a producer. UBI immediately realized they could use her pretty face to sell the game, making her do a press tour, and it worked. If you remember her and not the actual developers, only later she recycled. She recycled. Was recycled as a feminist model. She was promoted to exclusive producer in uh, Assassin's Creed 2, and then he ended up as failed Google Studio vice president. Disconnecting herself from the real production of more, more and more at every step. She was an intruder, not different than the black female. Xbox director who was uh, not different than my female Xbox director who wants Microsoft to focus on mobile games because women play Candy Crusher. Mm, yeah, boy. Mm. That's rough. Sounds of Creed is developed by Kenny and European men. Is it as Prince of Persia, he goes stealth mechanics. One of the actual creators, Patrice, the ladies, they would do something, was in a conspiracy rabbit hole and ended up reading uh, the, uh, this one cult, which is real, and the origin of the world assassin, using it as a state starting point to build a fictional version of historic Freemason conspiracies. They also made uh, Altair with a Christian mother, which means he was an in Indo European, not Arab, as many people think. Uh, so it's the hero class. Even pure story icons like Robert Williams are mostly writers or designers. I can't remember one single female developer. Some trans women, not females. Uh, yeah, they haven't searched hard enough. It's most uh, the classic pros, most modern language manipulation. They had to change the word developer to include artists and manager, not actual creators. Otherwise, the female developers would still be a little bit minority. The according to lies we're told. Continue on. As the re in the real world, where, where women want to be the mayor of a city, but not the ones paving roads and making buildings. Same with the games, they meant to write stories and design, while men, while the men have to do the actual job of putting the game together. Even women who studied and wanted to be developers when the money ran out often move to manager of positions because they are not good at coding, because the lies are told. As the original filling upward, if you're good at your job, you're not promoted. And that's the reason why you end up with a layer of female and managers in male industries. So, um, uh, no, mm -hmm. yeah, sexism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is that. Ex mm. That seems very sexist. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? Oh, gee, a picture of all the people that show so much diversity. Look at all the different color, different hair colors. Like a thirty-nine likes for that. Someone likes like a laugh, put laughing emojis on it. Our shall you transitioning part one. I was so scared it's going to be one of those transitioning is really like your body and you'll give your guy videos. Well, it kind of is. Mm, well. So it's like, gosh, nobody wants you here. Like, except me and Jesus, for me and Jesus, and that works for me. Here goes, you're never completely, and I say, if you're never completely comfortable with skin, why transition? I right, just accept your body as is and act the way you want to act. Mm, you know? Mm. And so I said, well, actually, actually, there are many medical reasons for transitioning. Uh, none of them real. The uh, well, one what is gender dysphoria? Lies. Only a fear. You know, which is incurable by anything about gender dysphoria? Mm, mm. Eh? Mm. If you're against surgery from surgery, then you'd have to be against some surgery for women with gynomastia or not. And you also have to be against breast reduction surgery for women who had lost breast tissue due to breast cancer. No, no, I'm not against that. All oh, these are also ex mutilation, too. Uh, technically speaking, yes, but they're not for lying. Mm. Since first thing can live without their breasts, uh, like I say their parts are being removed are healthy. Gender reassignment surgery removes healthy parts from the body so people can pretend to be something else. Mm -hmm. Go. 
Homosexuality is a lifestyle, except for the fact that it's a lifestyle, ignore that, no, and it is dangerous, dude, other than all the diseases it brings into us, you know, ignore uh, the homosexual shortened lifespan, ignore that, like, nope, people are born LGBT, or the lies we're told, and they're not, they learn it, they don't learn, they are to be quirky and different, they learn it, uh, no people learn to do the horrible, dangerous stuff, that horrible, dangerous stuff, the diseases they spread kill thousands of people, you know, I forgive you for your actions, I only wish you understood your actions, uh, of truth, bullying is painful, and not an act of kindness and compassion toward others, you know, tell you the truth is bullying now, you know, I'll leave you on a computer and cast comments. Want me you a you read more? Mm. Okay, that stuff is nasty. I'm like, yeah, mm, it's a science animation. Science animation says, yeah, there's no need for it. You are you now. I'm like, you're gonna kind of look at my butt off. No, tell that to my dysphoria. That makes my life and well being every single day by, through lies. Mm, nope. I got it. Dysphoria, you're what's wrong with this person, not their body. Mm, what time is it? What time? I'll be back. <laughs>